Gentler invitations. <clears throat> I am Cassandra Pentagast, seeker of the Chantry. <laughs> and just, uh, what are you seeking? The champion. Which one? You know exactly why I'm here. <clears throat> Time to start talking, dwarf. They tell me you're good at it. <laughs> what do you want to know? Everything. Start at the beginning. fight them sooner or later then we make our stand here prepare yourself sorry about the cold open there but we're playing the game Dragon Age 2 a game I've been actually uh, trying to find some time to do for quite a while I didn't end up doing it until this point because well, the original Dragon Age uh, game, Dragon Age Origins, was taking me quite a while to get the episodes up for, and I didn't really feel the need to start doing this game. I eventually went and decided to go and import a... Um, I decided the game Dragon Age Origins that I wanted to go and do the sort of um, first expansion pack to it. Dragon Age Origins Awakening, but as I got further and further into that, the less and less fun I had time doing it, you know. We can't keep this up forever. We'll make it through this, together. Here they come. Shall I deal with them? All yours, sister. I wasn't having much fun with Origins Awakening, so I decided eventually to, yeah, screw it, just go and jump straight into Dragon Age 2 and avoid that whole um, awkward thing of producing a lot of the episodes that I'm not enjoying making and I doubt anyone would want to watch. If I'm having such a hard time getting through it myself, I doubt it's going to make for any sort of entertaining video. So. I gave up on that and I jumped into Dragon Age 2, a game which, ooh, after made a lot of people have some pretty hefty criticisms about this game, and not all of it was, well, not all of it was uh, unwarranted. Certainly, a lot of problems that this game has, and we are going to address them as we get through here. And these things are easy enough to just get through beginning of the game, you know. Out of the way. <laughs> oh, she took it down. Ah, <laughs> eh, we'll cut it up easy.
bullshit. That's not what really happened. Does that not match the story you've heard, Seeker? I'm not interested in stories. I came to hear the truth. <laughs> what makes you think I know the truth? Don't lie to me! You knew her even before she became the champion. Even if I did, I don't know where she is now. Do you have any idea what's at stake here? Let me guess. Your precious chantries fall into pieces and put the entire world on the brink of war. And you need the one person who could help you put it back together. The champion was at the heart of it when it all began. If you can't point me to her, tell me everything you know. You aren't worried I'll just make it up as I go? Not at all. You'll need to hear the whole story. Okay, we have to go and create a character here. I'm not going to um, go and make you watch me do that, because it might take a little while. So I'm going to shut the camera down and get back to you when I'm finished. Okay, here is my character. Let's start this game. I've imported the save from Dragon Age Origins, even though I didn't complete an Awakening. So, let's get going. The Blight? Been unleashed on Ferelden. Dark spawn poured out of the wilds, clashing against the army at the ruins of Ostagar. The battle was a disaster. King Kaelin died on the field with his men, betrayed by his most trusted general. Unopposed, the horde marched on the village of Lothering. The village burned, and many innocents were slaughtered. The champion's family barely escaped in time. I think that's all of them. For the moment, make us save us. We've lost it all. Everything your father and I built. We have to get out of here while we still can. Yes. You're right. We should have run sooner. Why did we wait so long? Why are you looking at us? We've been running since Ostagar. Not to interrupt, but the Blight's not going to wait while we stand here pointing fingers. Please, listen to your sister. Then let's go. Lead on. I got me a dog. Yeah! Okay, this is our character we're going to be playing as during this game. Her name is Hawk. Uh, regardless of whether what kind of character you create, it's always going to be a character that everybody always refers to as Hawk. There are no, like, um, him or her pronouns or anyth anything like that in use. So, everybody's last name is always Hawk. Unfortunately, that also means you could only really choose to play as a human. Whereas, in Origins, you had the various different origin stories, and you could play as a dwarf, either high or lowborn. You could play as a, an elf, either a city elf, or a Dalish elf human, a highborn human, or a human mage, or there are elf mages too, and you know, there's a lot of different, uh, a lot of different things that you could have chosen to do in Dragon Age Origins. Unfortunately, in this game, you have only the humans, and it's always this one origin story. Now, we're going to notice that. It, it gets it a lot more involved with the story, the characters, and all that kind of stuff. But the gameplay narrative is a little bit more linear than it was in Origins. You don't get to roam around on a map as freely as you could in Origins and all that kind of stuff. 
So that was a little bit of a trade-off and one that a lot of people didn't really take too kindly to. People didn't like this game as much as they did Origins because it had those kinds of flaws and stuff in it. But anyway, this is Hawk's family. Um, see if I can... Okay. Carver, Bethany, Mother, and Dog. Dog is an optional companion, but we're going to have him because he helps us fight. You notice that the game does look quite a bit quite a bit better than Dragon Age Origins did. But you also get the feeling that the map environments are not quite as vast. <laughs> the entire game is essentially being told from the perspective of that dwarf that we saw. Oh, she's running over there. From the perspective of that dwarf that we had seen in the beginning parts of the game. He's telling this story. I don't know how he's telling events that he wasn't there to witness, but he's telling the story. And notice that uh, once the uh, story had ended, the initial part that he was telling it ended, and he started actually telling the story for real when Cassandra called him out on it. The character designs for Hawk, obviously, because we hadn't created him or her yet, as well as Bethany changed. They look different now than they did before. Also, the character of Carver, the dog, and the mother have been included, whereas they weren't uh, part of his original version of the story. I gotta level up. Alright, I am playing a rogue here. I think, actually, the best way to play through this game best uh, character perspective to play through it is as a mage but I've played through a mage before and I'm gonna give a I'm gonna I want to do this one as a rogue unfortunately as a mage uh, I guess the, the real reason why I'm not doing in mage for this playthrough is because in a certain perspective and if you understand the story of the Dragon Age series playing as a mage doesn't really make a whole lot of sense because of the whole discrimination they have against mages in this universe. And it's something that the this game here puts a lot of emphasis on, pays a lot of attention to. A big part of the story is the way mages are treated in this world. And have your main character, have Hawk, be a mage, being able to run around freely and all that kind of stuff, in a way doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Alright, tributes. Now, as a as a uh, either a mage or a rogue, we're not going to be needing a whole lot of strength. So uh, dexterity is the big thing that we're going to want. I'm also going to go with some cunning, raised defense. Confirmed. And we get to choose some abilities. See these multiple trees down here. Dual weapon, archery. Specialist, Scoundrel, Subterfuge, and Hawk. We already have that. That's not a thing. I'm going to go with an archery special specialization here. Uh, at level 2, we don't have a whole lot of options and the kinds of things we can choose anyway. So I'm just going to be going with a pinning shot. Even though she was using a... Um, pair of daggers before to fight. I'm going to be using archery for a good chunk of this game. Just because uh, rogues don't have as high a defense as warriors do. Don't want her to get Wait. too close to the fight. Where are we going? Away from the darkspawn. Where else? And then where? We can't just wander aimlessly. We stay alive. That's the only thing we need to worry about right now. We can go to Kirkwall. Kirkwall? Are you sure that's wise? There's a lot of Templars in Kirkwall, Mother. I know that. But we still have family there. And an estate. Ah. <sighs> then we need to get to Guarin and take ship. If we survive that long, I'll just be happy to get out of here. Let's make this quick! Dark spawn. Now, just for the... Oh, crap. Never mind. You 
will not have him! They will not have you. Not while I breathe. Okay, we just ran into some people and we gotta help them out. Let's do some killing. Let's use that pinning shot real quick. Hey, stuff. Yeah, I'll take a broken dark spawn blade. Ah, they got this handled. And Carver Stop leveled up. Squirming, Wesley. You'll make it worse. Apostate, keep your distance. Well, the Maker has a sense of humor. <laughs> Darkspawn and now a Templar. I thought they all abandoned Lone Ring. The spawn are clear in their intent, but a mage is always unknown. The order dictates. Wesley. That woman is an apostate. The order dictates. Dear, they saved us. The Maker understands. Of course. I am Aveline Valen. This is my husband, Sir Wesley. We can hate each other when we're safe from the Horde. A strange time to be hunting apostates. His fellows left with the Chantry priests. I was traveling to Denerim on business for the Order, but I had to turn south when I heard of Ostagar. Bad luck and judgment brought us together here before the attack. The nice Templar has been convinced to postpone his hunt for illegal mages. So let's not dwell upon it, shall we? Wise girl. You're quick to offer your allegiance. Another blade between us and the Darkspawn? Yes, please. So long as the Horde is their first concern. My duty is clear, but that is for another day, if we are granted that opportunity. We will be fine. We all will. For a while, it looked like we were the only ones to escape the Darkspawn. We aren't free of them yet. Just like at Ostigar, this is just the start. You were there. Yes, I see it now. Third Company, under Captain Varrell. Then you saw how the whole of the army was defeated. We fell to betrayal, not the Darkspawn. This arm of the Horde will not have the same advantage. So long as you know I stand with Bethany, Templar. Understood. For now, we move with you. North is cut off. We barely escaped the main body of the Horde. Then we're trapped. The wilds are to the south. That's no way out. I'm not running straight into the Horde. We go south. 